Premium brands reaching a mass audience is challenging. You could do it the easy way. Colored plastics become matte black, specs take a dive and you drum up a front break. And then you mark the occasion with a press release and a suffix like air or something. Aether's way is perhaps better. On the 450S, the range has reduced but very little else. The essence of the premium product we know, it's untouched. If I remove the badges from that, you wouldn't be able to tell. That's the base model. This approach is not perfect though. And Aether's subscription plans, they remain kind of confusing. This has muddled the usually clear picture we get from a company that's generally delivered everything it's promised. Products and clarity. But let's start at the beginning, yes? The 450S is the new base model featuring 90 kilometers of range that's real-world economy mode. 90 kilometers an hour of top speed that's in sport mode and it's got a slower charger that takes just under 9 hours for a full charge. The motor is slightly less powerful and Aether has smoothened the part delivery out and you will notice that. It still is a sporty scooter in feel so it turns quickly and it breaks quite sharply. Quality levels as usual are high and there's a new color LCD screen with its new little friend, the joystick. And of course, as with all Aether, it makes no sense to consider the 450S without including the Pro Packs price. The S does make a credible case for itself as an affordable option in the Aether range, but only by Aether's pricing standard. On its own, it's still a premium product and it still has an expensive price tag. Let's take a closer look, shall we? <laughs> if you've seen one Aether, you've seen them all. So this looks tiny, compact, sharp and high quality. I've said this before, Aether really needs to update the 450 line completely yesterday. The meat of the story is a smaller battery that drops the range about 15 kilometers from the X to the S. So this, it'll do about 90 kilometers in economy mode, real world. In sport mode, which is the top mode, let's call it 70. The motor is less powerful, there is less torque and Aether has also reworked the throttle maps in economy and ride modes and the idea is to offer you more smoothness overall. Personally, I do prefer the drama of the more aggressive maps on the X, but I was impressed at how smooth the Aether now feels going through traffic. The level of smoothness, it's really, really nice. All of these Aethers can now also charge their batteries while coasting and honestly, you can't feel that system working, which is exactly how it should be. Coasting region and a bunch of other changes, Aether says can add up to 6 months to the life of the battery overall and give you back as much as 7% in region every day which translates to about 6.5 kilometers. What I'd like to know from you is, does that sound like a valuable gain? Aether's always had realistic eco and smart eco modes, they're not boringly slow and even though top speed is restricted, they're actually quite useful. Above that is the ride mode which is a very well balanced mode and most riders will probably not need more performance than that daily. And on top is sport mode which seems to have warp like acceleration according to the spec sheet but the smoothness of the scooter does interfere with the drama of that experience. But it is quick and you will pass more or less all the traffic you encounter easily. And yes, there is no warp mode at all. Range numbers from Aether have generally been quite reliable and that's the case with the S as well. So faster riders you'll see a little bit less than the claim numbers and slower riders you might see a little bit more. But 90 kilometers of range that needs to be approached with a simple piece of logic. We believe you need three days worth of range compared to your commute distance. And if you have that, you'll commute easily, you'll be able to make a side trip here and there without worrying. And if you don't charge the scooter overnight for whatever reason, it's not immediately a problem. And by that piece of logic, if your commute is 30 kilometers or less, the 450S should not be a struggle. The 450S includes a charger, but it's slower than the X's charger. So you're going to need eight and a half hours from zero to 100%. So that's going to charge overnight for sure. The lovely felt bag from the X, it's not in the S and now the Aether rattles horribly over the bumps because the brick moves around under the seat sounding like a trapped monkey trying to escape. The S has the same aluminium frame, suspension and brakes as the 450X. 
So it's not really a surprise that the 450S feels like a skinny tired scooter that changes direction quickly and confidently. It rides a little bit sharply over the bumps. The rear brake is ultra sharp, matched to a front disc, which is actually really nice. I felt instantly at home and this is a very responsive scooter in traffic. However, I think the ride comfort could have been improved and Aether did not use the opportunity of the 450S to find a more comfortable setting. If you enjoy the idea of a sporty scooter, the 450S will thrill you, but your family members, they may not be so enthusiastic about its comfort levels. Visually, the big change is the color segmented LCD display, which replaces the TFT touchscreen on the X. And honestly, I think the LCD is better. It displays information well, the right amount of information, it's readable in bright sunlight, it's a clever design and you operate it with a wonderful joystick that's been added to the left switch queue. The only thing I would change is there's a flashing bar at the top which changes graphics to tell you what's going on, like regen or something. These are background systems and I don't really need to know when they're working or not. The confusion about Aether usually starts when you discuss the Pro Pack. They're supposed to run well even without them, but I've never actually seen one. But nearly every single feature, riding modes, coasting regen, you name it, they all require a subscription. And on the S, if you don't have a subscription, it doesn't turn on its Bluetooth either. Onto the Aether app, it's the same app for the X and the S. And the sole change is that the S uses Map My India instead of Google Maps and directions appear as arrows on the LCD screen. But every single GPS based feature of this app that also requires a subscription. And this set is labeled Aether Connect, which is considered complimentary for three years. And there's no information as to what happens after the three years are done. You can fast charge the Aether 450S and you're going to pay one rupee per minute. Billing fast charging by time is actually a good idea, but it can take a moment to understand why and what benefit it brings you. Aether is encouraging you to use their fast charging network up to 80% and then move along. If you continue to charge past that, you're going to be paying double. I thoroughly enjoyed the quieter, smoother feel of the 450S. And if your commute is under 30 kilometers, I think you should think about saving your money and not getting the X. But if you're a faster rider or have a longer commute than that, then I think the full fat 450X may be the better Aether for you. Aethers are expensive and the S might lower the bar a bit, no doubt about it. But Aethers are reliable, battery life is good and service is generally hassle-free. We've only heard a few sporadic complaints in the recent past about that and there is one known issue about some belts making noise during the rains. If you're deciding on an Aether right now, you should recheck the prices on battery warranty and the Pro Pack. Today, the S gets a 5-year battery warranty, 60,000 kilometers of coverage if you pay just 1 rupee and Pro Pack is 15,000. But both of those prices are discounts on 5,500 and 22,000 odd rupees respectively. And it keeps making me wonder why Aether won't simply clear this confusion because the question is always exactly the same. What's free? For how long? And what happens after? If you are considering an electric scooter, there is one thing I'd like you to think about. And no, it's not the debate about whether EVs are truly clean. That's for some other time. The big temptation is cheap electricity versus expensive petrol every day. And if you ride a lot, the math does favor the electric vehicle. But if you're going to obsess about the price of the replacement battery despite having a really long battery warranty, I suggest that you're not ready for electric vehicles. I'm not saying batteries are not a factor. On some of these scooters, it's 45, 60,000 rupees. But if you can't access the mental peace of a hassle-free way to get around, maybe you're still ready for ICEs and your EV is still a few years away. I like how the 450S fits into the Aether experience. It's smooth, it's hassle-free, it feels effortless. Many of you, I don't think need the X at all. The S will be enough scooter. So this, this is good. But me personally, I prefer the X. It's got warp mode.